This next installment of ISOWatch comes from the suggestion box at cupoflinux.com. That's where you place all of your requests for this show. We are looking at Apricity OS right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Pay close attention, kids. The following statement may one day save your life. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment in a virtual machine. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I will miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I do not take the time to research features. That is your responsibility if you want to try this software. I will not spend enough time with this distribution to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by my policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and boot the live image of Opricity OS. When the live image boots up, you automatically are greeted with the Opricity OS installer. So let's go through the motions here. And uh, this, is, of course, is an Arch-based distribution. Some really quick things before you even uh, do the install process. I notice Pamac Tray is running here. Uh, let's have a look at the package manager. And uh, let's see if they're running the latest um, Pamac. Hmm, it's saying it's not responding. All right, well, we'll wait till it's installed then. Some things hmm, may misbehave. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and get this going here. All right, uh, no, I'm not in Chicago time. Let's go New York. All right, we're looking good there. Okay, and um, yep, that's fine. I'm just going to... Go with automatic. All right, that's fine. That looked really easy. Now I just need to pause the video and let this installation complete, then we'll reboot the system and uh, play with this thing. Well, that installation was pretty quick and painless. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, updates to do here. Um, I think it said something to the tune of 184 updates, but that's not surprising, because uh, this, this is continuously rolling. Okay, um, let's get the obvious out of the way. First, uh, when we go into uh, activities here, you have your desktop switchers, no side panels, and no icons here. Let's see. Um, ah, but if we do type in search, if we do type in to search for things, we can find stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, open up the terminal. I'm not going to run any updates or anything on this right now. But uh, you're going to see it has its it has it, its own little prompt. Um, so if we switch user, for instance, all right, you're going to see um, that it looks different. This is similar to um, what you can do with um, Bashish that I have on um, on my main terminal. Pretty neat stuff. Um, let's exit that. Um, let's uh, see if they've included Yowert with this. Okay, that's included. Cool deal. Uh, the prompt is kind of cute, though. I kind of like that. Uh, they mentioned that, and so I had a, on their webpage, so I decided to have a look at that. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see if the package manager is working now. Okay, and it is, and it looks like this is using an older version of Pamac, so they're not up to date 
with uh, what the uh, latest, um, at least at the time that they uh, made this release. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, Pemac uh, has already been through its overhaul, and it's got the uh, new GTK tool set that they used to build it. Now, that could be different, though, upon running the updates. Uh, I'm not sure there. Clicking here to show all applications. There's a lot of stuff included with this. So this is a complete operating system, unlike the other GNOME desktop that we looked at the other day, which was uh, Fedora, which uh, was bare bones. This has a complete package um, of software. Um, so from FTP file management, you've got the Google Chrome web browser, the GIMP for doing images, Inkscape. Uh, so this looks like this is a nice little uh, OS for artists. Um, you get some backup solutions in here that I can see. Play on Linux is thrown in, so if you want to get your uh, Wine programs running, it looks like they bundled in Steam too. All right, and um, they've got uh, a video player included in this as well. I like the idea with the uh, panel at the bottom. Because when you do click the Activities tab, normally in GNOME, you would have uh, a panel here on the side. And I guess they decided to remove that in favor of having their own little plank down at the bottom. I'm cool with that. So that's not bad. Also, they decided to include a tweak tool with this as well. So if we want that global dark theme, we can have it. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and launch Nautilus. Oh, that's a nice little theme for that. But it didn't give us a global dark theme. Probably one of those things I have to log out and log back in for. I'm pretty sure that's probably what the case is. Let's uh, look at the tweak tool again and see if it darkened up again for us. Yes, it did darken up. So um, that's just one of those cases where we have to... Uh, log out and log back in. Um, I want to do some uh, further uh, analysis here, so let's um, Alt F2 here. Okay, and let's uh, GKSU Nautilus. Okay, that's weird that it granted me super user permissions uh, without a password. Hmm. Okay. All right, and I don't like this navigation system at all, but there is a way to get around this. Enter location. I want to go into... Okay, if we look at the mirror list... And we look at the pacman.conf files. You can see Apricity has their own repository for some packages. But if you also look at the mirror list, it it's, looks like here that it is pulling off of the Arch Linux repositories. So that could potentially mean problems if there is a major change to Arch Linux that gets pushed upstream to users and they download those that may require end user intervention and uh, distributions like Manjaro for instance they fix those issues before rolling them out to their stable base now I have no idea whether or not Apricity is doing anything like this but it would be interesting to find that out uh, in the near future Basically, we're just doing a first-time run-through, first-time glance at this, so I didn't take too much time to research this. Just expressing a concern here, um, and uh, you can take that as you will. At the end of the day, if you have a need for speed, Arch Linux is definitely a good way to go. Uh, you have been looking at a GNOME shell desktop running on top of a QMU KVM 
virtual machine and uh, this responded quite well. I was pleased with that. Installation was easy. This appears to be a complete operating system that has uh, just about everything you'll need for everyday tasks with inclusion of extra uh, utilities uh, for the artist in mind. I like the terminal theming. That was kind of cool. Um, my only concern is that though it does have its own repositories, it is pulling directly off of the uh, Arch repos. And anytime there is a major update to Arch Linux, that could bleed over to a lot of the derivatives, and that would require end-user intervention to repair a potentially broken system. I like what I see here. If you think this is something that you would like to try out, there will be a link in the description where you can download this image and you can also sign up for the forum and uh, ask your questions. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next here on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. Until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.